Hi guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com talking about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And something a lot of people ask me is about how to hear and communicate with their guides. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, the thing about guides is they want to communicate with you as much as you want to communicate with them. So if you set the intention to be open and receptive, you're halfway there. That's basically like the biggest part of the job right there, being open, looking for signs and being willing to um, kind of like receive them basically. And if you are in a position where you, you, really feel like you you're going through something or you just really want to have like this super dialed in connection what you want to do is be very consistent with the time and place that you set up to meet them and in then that kind of what I'm talking about is basically like a meditation um, if, if you decide every day to like sit down at a certain time and try to communicate with your guide they'll meet you there there's an expectation and you can just get that going you can work with you know, this is getting a little more complicated um, but you can work with like clairvoyance and clairaudience and different tools to um, start you know communicating with them there are a lot of meditations and things out there I have one on my website um, to help you but if you do that every day through meditation um, you got it down you'll be off and running in very little time. I was to say no time, but it does take a little bit of effort. Now, if you don't do that and you're just looking for signs of um, reassurance, for hope and for symbols and for just a feeling like they're around, there are a lot of ways that they can communicate with you um, into, you know, kind of the fabric, weaving into the fabric of our reality, so to speak. One big way is through media specifically what i've seen for myself and for people i've worked with is through music through like your your device that you're streaming music on or through um the radio or through something you're hearing actually when you like walk into a store or something like they'll it's so easy for them i don't know how it, it works but it's wonderful to send you signs through music time and time again all you have to do is like hey I'm, I need something I need to know you're here and then listen and look at what comes through on your whatever you're listening to music on listen when you when you go to stores and places it's it's wonderful and it's it's kind of like miraculous and really fun so have fun with that um, the songs most undoubtedly will make sense or there'll be something about about like the light or about um, what you're going through that's reassuring it's wonderful so that's one way another way i've noticed a lot especially with with spirits of people who have passed away is um birds i don't know how to explain it but um a dear friend's partner had died and she gave me a symbol she said i would she would come through in the form of this, this specific type of bird that my friend and her partner's sister saw it the next day um, when my other dear friend's mom died recently we saw little tiny birds like the she was like a beautiful little tiny bird and these little tiny birds just coming flying around like out of nowhere um, so look for that they, they communicate through through birds I think it's a symbolic thing for like the flight and and this flight of the soul but it's it's very interesting how how that works um, other ways they come through with a, it's so funny but a lot of people notice this is with the license plate numbers on my birthday this year I saw one with um, actually it was a whole license plate that said Hanuman and the O was a heart which I thought was was beautiful and cool but you know you'll see like your 444s and your 1111s um, those are like signs that that things for you to notice and pick up and and see same thing with your clocks and uh, you know those angel numbers you know your the the 444s the 555s 1111s and all of that and in this when i'm talking about guides in this video too i mean to include you know your guides your angels your the departed loved ones your ancestors all of them all the world of spirit and how they communicate through so 
those are some of the basic like in your everyday reality ways they'll come if you're really wanting to push and see just how far like what what you can get you might start a practice of asking for things and say please give me something to give me hope or give me something to show me I'm going in the right direction or or show me what kind of animal if, it, if you're connecting to animal totems you show me what kind of animal um, is symbolic for me right now and and I guarantee you'll, you'll see that imagery come into your reality one wonderful way that they come through is and it's very interesting and you have to be paying attention all the time to notice this that they'll deliver messages to you through other people and it, it's funny as it reminds me of those fairy tales where um, you better be careful who you're nice to because you never know who they um, who that person really is so you know the typical ones where it's like you know you, you be kind to the bigger person because it's a, a powerful um, you don't want to say witch but you know a powerful like being in disguise or up a god or you know what i mean so they will sometimes people will just say something and you're like wow that's very cool and it's from a guide um it and once again it's, it's one of those things that you you will only notice if you are paying attention Another thing that's very common is, um, I still read books. I know a lot of people are doing the digital thing, but I like a hard copy book and I like to go to the library. I'm old school that way. Um, books will come to you or you, you know, from the library or off of the shelves, you'll just, a book will just be delivered to you or you'll, you'll, it'll call your name and you'll get it. Another thing that's wonderful is to just open a book and I have I don't have the book I was reading a book about um, divination and it's actually called bibliomancy so where you you have the book and you just like whatever page and there's a message there for you I think that's really cool but your guides can help with all of that um, and those are just some of the like very very like basic ways they'll come through but if you kind of can just open up to the idea that you will be open and receptive to all of the ways in which they're here and ready and willing to communicate with you you will be floored by how many symbols and signs and um happenstances occur that that i don't know that's indicative of the fact that they're they're communicating and and that they are here and back to the um, initial thing I was talking about, which is just hearing them, is you, aside from the meditation every day, you can also just talk to them. Like, really, it, it, yeah, the psychic world is about imagination. And if you can just let go of that analytical mind and just imagine you're talking to your guide. Yeah, it might sound feel crazy like you're talking to an imaginary friend, but, but talk to them. Keep talking to them and they will talk back to you. It's as simple as that. Um, and I, you know, they really do exist. They really are here. You really are not alone. So the more you work at it and the more you get in the flow, the more you'll notice all of these things coming about. And um, it can be a daily practice. It can be a moment to moment practice where you're just asking for help to get from point A to point B and you will receive that help and that guidance. And that's all for this video, but I wanna say before you go, um, that if there are things you want me to talk about, I'm definitely open to subjects, so put it in the comments below. That's probably the easiest way, and I'll work on a video or something. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe, because I do new videos every week. And for more info, um, that Spirit Guides meditation I talked about, got some other free meditations and then some mp3 workshops and programs and things you can also work with me one-on-one -on, -one on my website which is chrisshanti.com and that's all for today i'll see you next time thanks bye